again to another video and today pupunta tayo ngayon sa event sasama ko kayo pupunta tayo sa Senya Hotel dito sa Clark, Pampanga so 2 o'clock yung start ng event so yun mamaya na lang pag nandun something like something prestigious like Vista Land already you can't expect a lot of following just because out of that okay um, because Facebook especially and all these other social media platforms they're not made to sell products they're made to tell stories they're platforms to tell stories so the first story that we ever told is just how relevant the pandesal, the basic pandesal is. Everyone is familiar with the pandesal. And we we, we we look for the five best pandesals in our city in Angeles. And overnight, it got 40,000 views from a, from a platform na wala namang followers initially. So, we consider it a modest success, yes, but um, the important thing there is telling stories. Because that's what social media is all about. Think about brands like uh, what some of the most prominent brands we think about when we think about stories in in uh, in social media are like Jollibee. Uh, they 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 portray uh, they they uh, they use a lot of storytelling to promote their brands. Not necessarily to promote their young burgers, but to promote you know feelings felt when you're in Jollibee. The soft sell style. Soft sell. That's a big story. Yeah, soft sell. Yeah. So that's very very important. Yeah, so that's it. 
That's the first vlog ever. Let's do this, Sabi ko. Uh, so during that 30 day period, there was a phrase that kept me motivated. There was something I'm afraid to say. At the same time, it's practice for me because it's what I do. So, yun lang. Yun lang sa yun. Practice. Or, dahil nga gusto kong matuto ng storytelling, ganyan, ng video. Kaya ako siya ginagawa. But not necessarily because I have what viewers, I want. Yun. Yun lang. You don't let the numbers dictate you. You let the content that you want out there dictate whatever you want to put out there. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Kevin. It's Sir Paolo. Do vertical living or condo living. This is a new, uh, this is actually a very new phase of condo living. So we actually invited um, somebody from our corporate communications team to discuss and share with you a brand brief uh, regarding Coho by Easton. And then after that, we'll play um, some AVPs po. Para ma-appreciate pa natin lalo. Ano 87% of young Filipinos choosing to be in the gig economy. Ano yung gig economy? Ang gig economy is yung career na hindi mo akalain maging career. For example, influencers. Who would think na ang dami mong ang dami mong magiging pera in this industry. Dati wala yan. We do the traditional lawyer, doctor, nurse. Yung mga ngayon, people say that's boring. So now we have the gig economy. Mga ano na, freelancer baristas, vloggers, vloggers, bikers. Yung mga ano na lang, they're following their lifestyle. So they want to say, life is work and work is life. So don't, don't wanna get enjoy now Filipinos have that 80 87 percent and I think everyone here is part of this 87 percent. So the internet has expanded their interest and evolved their life well. So given the multiple roles that we play and the many activities that we juggle, being closer to our destinations allows us to maximize the time. Of course, in the cabaret, the Yana Yumul for Papanga. And of course, engineer Joshua for Supik. So again, um, on behalf of Coho uh, by Vistanan, thank you very much all for coming and I hope Video ba yan ba? Yes, Kapampangan Tagalog. 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 Hello po. Tagalog. Tapos na yung event ng Coho dun sa loob.